Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Did you know that Queen Victoria had her own post box? Yes, that's right. She didn't have to go to the end of the road and post her letters and cards. She had her own personal post box within her palace. Well, 100 years ago, I guess post boxes were very, very common. The rest of us have moved on to email and post boxes are slowly disappearing in the same way as phone boxes are around the UK. I don't know the last time I saw a public payphone. I think in London the red ones are still very popular for tourists to stand inside and have their photographs taken. Our post boxes are the same. They're usually bright red, and if you take a moment to look at them, you realize they're made of solid iron. And usually on the front, there's the initials of the king or queen who were, who were on the throne at the time the post box was erected. So, for example, my local post box says GR for King George. So I guess that post box was put up during his reign, which would have ended in 1952 when the Queen came to the throne. So next time you're in London, do have a look at the post boxes. They're not vanishing quite as quickly as uh, the phone box, the phone boxes are, but uh, have a little look next time you're in the UK. Uh, carrying on this story about Queen Victoria, her personal post box is being sold. It was found at an antique dealer's in Surrey. Uh, that's a, a, a place in southern England. And they're going to put it under the hammer to try to get some money for it. So they think it will raise around £6,000. Uh, under the hammer means going to auction. So it'll be taken to a special auction. You know an auction. An auction is where you sell something uh, and the person who pays the most money will get to keep it. Okay, so let's just think about that for a moment. So this thing will be taken to an auction and the man will say, okay, the starting bid is let's say £5,000, Queen Victoria's post box, who will give me 5100 Someone will raise their hand and then they'll say, okay, who give me 5200 And then another hand goes up, uh, 250 another hand goes up, 300 another hand goes up, and then the price keeps rising. So it's not a time to be scratching your head in case they think that you're actually bidding for an item. So the phrase under the hammer is the thing that goes to auction. And we say it's under the hammer because whoever obviously buys this thing, the man has a little hammer and he knocks it once and he says sold to the person wearing the brown coat or the black hats, okay, or the Skype headset. <laughs> anyway, uh, he says something like that. So things which are going up for auction are going under the hammer. It's a good expression to keep in your mind because you'll see it in lots of English media about anything that's being sold at auction. That house is going under the hammer and expected to raise £2,000, for example. <laughs> well, more like 200000 if it's a house. Um, that table will be under the hammer and is expected to raise uh, £5,000, or as we've just mentioned, Queen Victoria's personal post box 
from her palace, which I assume was either Buckingham Palace or Windsor, expected to raise £6,000 by going under the hammer. That's it from me today. Uh, see you all soon. Bye.